Hey guys, Jeff Ryan here, just getting rid of some more uh, packing material. Got a box open here, and the red uh, Mach 1 came in. I am very, very, very excited about this. Uh, we're gonna get to that in just a bit. One, one thing I wanna do, and I, I'm pretty sure it is, but I'm gonna authenticate it. I'm gonna show you how I go about authenticating it. Let me do this. I'm gonna uh, clean this area up a little bit, get rid of the uh, box and stuff. Let's get to it. All right, now what I did when I had the, um, you guys remember the uh, pink willies when i had the pink willies and i authenticated that to be a uh, an aurora i looked at every part of the underneath side of the body where you can see the mold markings that's the same thing i want to do over here with the mach one i want to get it out of the package i want to look at it but i want to compare it to um some of the mach ones or i'll just i tell you what let's just grab one what do we got here, the yellow one? Let's do this. I'll take this off the chassis. We'll have the body uh, all set to go, and then I'll compare them side by side because there's people that are reproducing these things and you never want to get stung, so to speak. So let me go ahead and get the yellow one off the chassis and we'll, we'll start the comparison. First off, I'm looking at it. It feels like an Aurora. You know how they have that solid plastic. Some of the uh, reproductions are a little bit more flimsy looks really good i like it you know nothing's cut on it they said that the uh screw posts haven't been tapped they have not been tapped and again the wheel wells look good everything looks pretty solid on it now let's take the yellow one just for fun just for fun let's start looking at these buggers is there is the red one consistent with the yellow now it's just straight away straight away let's see if i can get it here yeah all right, now, now look at this. Right behind this, I'm trying not to wiggle it here. Right behind this round mold marking, you can see a little bit of the mold the way it looks there. It's got the same thing over here on the red one. It's got the same thing. That looks identical. Looking at the hood scoop, yeah. Yeah, every, the wheel wells, everything's matching up. And again, that's the same thing I did with the pink willies. I looked at, I'm not gonna say a hundred pictures, I'm gonna say a thousand different pictures, plus I used references, what I had, things like that, and the, the pink willies, it's it's made from a Aurora mold. This red mop, it's from an Aurora mold. No one's gonna tell me otherwise. It doesn't have a road race replica, nothing like that. It doesn't have anybody's marking on it. That is, um, that's a red mock, never been tapped, never been tapped. Okay, very good. Uh, one thing I wanna do, um, I wanna just give it a bath. I'm gonna take it to this real quick and just clean it up. It looks like there's, I don't wanna say scratches, but if this thing was in a box or something, but you see on the uh, roof there, we can probably uh, a little VRP or get that out or something here. So let me go ahead and get to the sink and we'll get it cleaned up. Just getting back from the sink, it's still wet. I'm gonna uh, take my shirt and dry it off here. Um, you know, I, I just always like to uh, get all the, I don't know if there's fingerprints or oil on it. I just like to get it clean before I do anything with it. Man, I love it, I love it. All right, very good, I've got it dried off. Uh, I even wicked out the uh, screw post there. You always wanna uh, do that. It's dried out pretty good. I didn't really buff it out too much of my shirt or anything. I, I do wanna get to the next. next. But one thing I thought about is since I've got the uh, other red one that doesn't have the uh, accents on it, I do have to uh, compare them. I don't know which one is going to stay in the collection or which one I'm going to let go or keep both. I don't know. I don't know. But I, I will definitely scrutinize. Look at the hood and the roof here. And then, boy, there's a, I don't want to say dull because there is some shine to it, but there's, there's, a, there's a difference there. Okay, very good. Let me go ahead and get the... Um, bumpers and the uh, windshield, just that. Okay, the uh, bumper, front bumper, back bumper, and the uh, windshield I got from Rather Boring on eBay. And what I wanna do first is I wanna dry fit them, make sure that they all fit properly. If you have to like sand something or whatever, I wanna do it ahead of time before I go ahead and just try to glue them on, you know what I mean? And while I'm thinking about it, I pulled the bumper out from uh, uh, the mold that I made when I did a bunch of the ice cream truck. Uh, bumpers there and one of my viewers uh, wanted one and I said hey just go ahead and uh, give me your uh, mailing address and if he didn't get the message my uh, email should be up on the screen right now so if I and I've got a plethora of them if somebody needs a ice cream trunk uh, ice I can say ice cream truck bumper let me know I've got them for you 
All right, let's get to dry fitting this stuff. Look at that. I just uh, got the front bumper in, and it literally, uh, I, I, when I put it in, a little bit of pressure, it snapped into place. You know what I mean? It snapped into place. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and check the back bumper. But boy, doesn't that look good? Man, man, that looks good. All right, I just got that in. It did not snap into place, but uh, it's snug enough to where it's not going to just fall out. I still want to go ahead and glue them, but the way that front bumper went in, I don't know if I'll need to glue it. That was just really good, really good. Okay, let me go ahead and drop the glass in. Now, glass went in easy, uh, so easy, and I, I, if I turn it over, it's, 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 it's going to come out. Yeah, there's, there's no question about it, but it fit. Uh, really, really, really good. All right, just a sec. Okay, well, I, I like it with the uh, bumpers on and all that stuff, but I took them off because I don't think I want to put any VRP on it, but I do want to kind of buff it out a little bit. So I'm going to spend a minute here, see if I can get some shine on this thing, make it look like my other one. Just a sec. Better, better. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm liking it. Uh, I, it it's going to be hard. Um, man, I'm, I'm flip-flopping back and forth going uh, with, uh, to let this one go. I'll be quite frank, the body itself being untapped and everything, 99 bucks, okay, 99 bucks. The chrome kit, um, the windshield, both bumpers, probably, I'm gonna say between 19, 20 bucks. I love to see guys paint things up and to make them look like new. It's gonna be tough for me to let this one go. And I, quite frankly, I'm thinking I might have a plan B, but I, I don't know. I'm flip-flopping back and forth. I'm going to make my final decision on that in, in a bit. I, I will, but man, that came out good. That came out really good. All right, that's the entire kit as far as the uh, Mach 1, the bumpers, the uh, windshield, uh, guide pins, front back, screws there. I'm still on the fence what I'm going to do with it, and I will make that announcement here shortly. Now, back to the giveaway. Back to the giveaway. The first one, as far as these road race replicas here, well, th th this one, the uh, Firebird, th th that's an Aurora. But as far as the road race replicas, I'm gonna start off with the vet. I'm gonna start off the vet. It's got the windshield. I want the windshield painted up like that. And when you look at the front and back bumpers, um, my God, they're just sticking right out, just begging to be painted, you know what I mean? When you see the Silver there, it looks like it's just straightforward. See the silver there? Absolutely just straightforward. So I don't think this, in, in on the sides, obviously, you know, uh, that little uh, side cutout piece, whatever, it, I don't know what that's called exactly. And you know what you gotta do with this? Is tap the screw post. Uh, Road Grace, Replica, Phil Pinion, the boys, they didn't ever tap the screw post with these early models. They really didn't, they left it up to us. So you get the windshield, now, if you want to keep it gray, that's fine. I love gray. I think gray is, as far as the old vets, outstanding. So we've got the little guy there. Now, that um, that's a smaller one. That's like the same size as when they, they did the Corvette with the um, uh, rag top. Okay, so that's a smaller guy. And I got the guide pin and I've got the uh, two screws there. So you're going to have to convince me that you're the guy to do this. Send me before and after pictures. My email should be up on the screen. I wanna know that you can make this look like this. Well, Jeff, it's a hard top and it shouldn't have a guy in it. I know, I really don't care. I want the guy in it, I want the guy in it. If I'm giving it to you, put the guy in it. You know what I mean, put the guy in it. So I want it painted up, the, you know, the bumpers, the roof, um, the, the seats, everything the way it should be. That's what I want to see. And again, if you think you're the person for it, email me. My email should still be up on the screen. Now, uh, on f uh, further uh, products I got just recently from Rather Boring. I got some bumpers and not whatnot, but he's also starting to do these. These are the, like if you wanted a uh, driver for your Mercedes or for the Jaguar, they're doing them. They're doing them. They're doing them. I showed you these uh, uh, like last video or the video before. I love them, I really love them. But my only critique, that's a very subtle critique. My only critique is the opacity. When you look at, let's say what Aurora's done with this black one here, and you look at the opacity, 
and then you compare it to what they've got it's pretty good it's pretty good but what Aurora would do is they would also do they would also paint the hands you know what I mean and then the steering wheel would be in between and that's the way they do it now these down here my guys Chris and Cindy God love them they do the small one by hand they do the medium one by hand they do the larger one by hand and look at that they've got the hands on the steering wheel there and the opacity of the paint that they use, outstanding, absolutely outstanding. Uh, the rather boring ones, wonderful, wonderful. They didn't do the hands. Yeah, I get it, I get it. But these are hand done. Again, I, I said so many times, each one that Chris and Cindy do, it's like a work of art. But anyways, <clears throat> pardon me, I wanted to review these from Rather Boring. I think they're very, very good. The size, the style, the shape, the color that they've got, absolutely outstanding all right so as far as the giveaways the, the uh, vet is going to be up first i'm still going back and forth with the mach one uh again i, I might I, I tell you what there is a plan b i'm going to go with plan b and i'll let you know what that is in the next video the firebird firebird i have one in my collection it's all white it's just like that one it's never been tapped and it uh, doesn't have any factory accents on it so what I'm thinking about doing, and let me know what you guys th uh, think about this, is I love the Firebird. I think they, they look so darn good. And you know how I love the Chromies? You know, I am just a sucker for the Chromies. If you got a Chromie, it's like, it's got my name on it. And I, I just love it. I was thinking about spraying this one, not with the Molotow. No, I was thinking about spraying uh, with the Ravel uh, Chrome paint that they have. And then I do have a translucent blue. I might have a translucent red. I'm not sure, I'll have to check. But I was considering doing one, making it uh, chrome, but then turning it into a uh, either a blue or a red. Or, or I tell you what, <laughs> if I do have the red and the blue, it might be purple, it might be purple. So that's gonna be coming up in the next videos. And then the rest of these will be going one at a time. So again, to recap, we have, what is this? The um, the Sunliner, yeah, we got that. And this one is the station wagon. It's got the roof in there. So if, if guys, if you think you can uh, do that, it's not up right now, but consider doing, uh, no, I'm sorry, that's not the station wagon, darn it. Uh, no, that's a, that's a Galaxy with, uh, with uh, it's not the police car Galaxy. This is a station wagon, this is station wagon. There you go, that's a station wagon. I love that. In, in the side paneling, if you guys think you can do the side paneling and all that, put yourself in the hat for that one when it comes up. And this is a police car. Now, whoever has like the police decals and everything, um, man, I want this one to come out sharp. I really want it to come out good. I really do. I love the police car. I love the place on the back, the stars and everything. I think when Aurora did it, and they did so many variations of it. You know what? They really did. They did so many variations of it. So the uh, police car will be coming out. So that's what's going on right now, guys. And if you think you can get that vet, the gray vet, painted up like Aurora did it, yeah, I know this is Johnny Lightning. But if you can get it painted up like that, put your name in the hat. Uh, my email should still be up on the screen. And give me some before and after. Convince me you should get that. If this one's on me, you got to convince me. you got to convince me. And uh, before I end off here, very good on the reproduction uh, drivers that we need, again, from Rather Boring on eBay. Did an exceptional job with them. But as far as a cut above, my guys, uh, Chris and Cindy, they, I, I can't say enough good about them. Just look at them. Look at the opacity. Look at the hands on the bigger driver. It, they're, they're, they're what you want. They're what you want. All right, guys, I know I said this last week, but if uh, you see it, let me know. See ya.